So we've all been there, right? Senior stakeholders are wondering how to allocate marketing spend for the new financial year, and you're left to work out market size and potential SEO opportunity for the entire company. Oh, and you've got one week to do it. So what do we do in this scenario? Well, we work out some smart ways to understand the size of the market, your core competitors, and the potential traffic and revenue we can drive from a good implemented SEO strategy. Very simply, we're gonna use the Supermetrics plugin for Google Sheets, the SEMrush API, in order to get some top level information to get a rough idea of what we can do for these senior stakeholders. So, you are ready? Let's get into it. All right, so the output for this particular week, weekly wisdom, all we wanna see is the current state of play. So I wanna see top level search landscape, where they rank, cut by numbers, a deep dive into the rankings, um, just a screenshot from uh, SEMrush's audit tool, um, any immediate opportunity, I'll show you the formulas for that. Um, looking at the competitors, um, if their site's powerful or not, looking at trust and citation flow, um, if we were to get some of their traffic, what that would look like, so we can get a rough idea of if it's valuable to go into this industry. So for this example, I'm going to use a company called Oak Furniture Land. Um, they're nothing to do with Type Media, they're not a client, uh, we're just using them as an example. Take a wild guess what they sell, <laughs> as an aside. Um, so what we want to do here, this is our template, so we're going to put in Oak Furniture Land. Um, we're going to put in a 1% conversion rate. I don't have their Google Analytics, but I'm assuming they're e-commerce, so it'll be somewhere around 1%. Uh, click through rate, again, I would go into Search Console, remove brand queries and work out what their average click through rate is. And then I would apply their average order value. In this case, we've said 300. Uh, it's not a lead gen site, so I'm just going to keep this as zero. So this is where the magic really starts to happen. We're going to use the one and only Supermetrics along with all of the SEMrush API information. And literally all I'm going to do is go add-ons, Supermetrics and refresh all. Now, the reason why this is so powerful is because what I've done is I've set out my stall with Oak Furniture Land as the domain and I said to the SEMrush API using Supermetrics to connect them all up, hey, can you just ping cell B1 all the time to get all this information? So you can see here it's pulling SEMrush competitors, it's pulling all the keywords, and you see these tabs down here? Well, what it's gonna do is it's gonna fill it with lots and lots of raw data. And then from that raw data, you'll see something called SEMrush for deck, which is essentially the table and the nice visual version of all this stuff that I'm going to put in that deck. So let's see what it's done. Um, there you go, Oak Furniture Land, it's pulled all of the keywords are currently ranking for. Um, you'll notice that I've got a little calculation here. Um, so what we've done is this is your traffic percentage and we divide that by 100 to get it into an easy format to work with. And then what I do here as I multiply the traffic percentage by the search volume in the CPC to get a rough idea of what the organic cost is going to be. Um, then we go into the competitors. So what it's done is it's pulled a bunch of these competitors here, which is great. And then you'll see a bunch of pre-populated tables. Aha! You can see here, this is their rankings. You can see here, this is the amount of traffic they get versus the actual cost of the traffic itself. And here we've got some calculations. So we're looking at current situation and then competitor situation. So the current situation, all we're doing there is we're taking the amount of traffic they, of all the keywords they rank for. So of these 10,000 or so keywords, we're just taking all the traffic that is reported in the UK for them and we're adding it up. It's not super complicated. Um, and then from there, we're applying the click to rate, which is taken from our setup tab. That then calculates the potential clicks you can get if you apply the same click to rate and giving it some basic things like show me the conversion rate at 1%. That's how many sales you would make. If your average order value is £250, we would expect you make £5,093 for that month. Now, this is not insanely accurate, but it does give you an idea of what's physically available in the marketplace in terms of pounds and pence. So from here, literally what I'm doing is I'm going into this and I'm pasting it all in. So if I was to do it with the first one, 
we can see here that this is their top line information so let's get that in there now with everything it's really not about getting the data it's about the commentary and the analysis on the data um, so what I'd highly recommend is you dig into this and you write it up for someone who is not a search person because these are typically going to directors not to SEO people that's why it's so basic and so high level so the ranking for about 10,000 keywords. This is how simple this is. And this gets the conversation with senior stakeholders and gets them to perk up because we're attributing actual values to doing this search work. Um, and as you can see, we've done it in literally two minutes. Um, they're getting 7.9 million clicks. And there we go. So what I would be doing here is I'd be giving some commentary as to whether or not this is good or bad. So from this point of view, you can't really tell. Then we want to jump into the kind of drill down. So we copy this out and paste it in. So the cool thing about this is if I can see, for example, a ranking distributions graph, I can see that they're already ranking on page one for a bunch of stuff. What I really want to see is I want to see, you know, page two and three and see what the traffic volumes are like there. Because if there's a lot of information on page two and three, then all I need to do is make really minor optimizations in order to get that through. So when we look at it here, between position 5 and 10, um, they've got 490 keywords that drive about 1.2 million clicks. Before we even get on to any optimizations, I want to see what those 490 keywords actually are. Um, it's probably likely that they're mid terms or head terms. And I want to see of the URLs that are driving this traffic, if I can do anything to those URLs to just nudge it. I'm not trying to be a superhero. I'm not looking to be number one across the board. I just want an average click-through rate of 3%. Um, and with that average click-through rate of 3%, you can imagine the level of traffic you're able to drive and these things that you can't usually see. So inside these 1.2 million clicks, if I can get the client, you know, three to 10% of those clicks by just bumping them from position eight on average to position five on average, you're an absolute hero, but you've not went in and said, oh, hey, um, we're going to make you number one across the board because that's utterly ridiculous. And at this stage of a relationship, you just want to know the numbers you're dealing with. So are we talking about hundreds or thousands or millions? How many pages do you have and how many keywords you have ranking? How easy is it going to be for us to drive any meaningful results? So we'd add our commentary in there and we'd literally just keep doing that. Um, this isn't really best practice, but if you're speaking to senior stakeholders, um, do not show them anything that is in-depth technical SEO. Uh, not only do they not care, they don't understand. So this dashboard I always think is quite a good representation. It's literally just the front page of the SEMrush site audit uh, tool. Um, and literally seeing that the site health is, you know, 41%, that's really obvious and there's some obvious things we can fix there and that's actually great news see when I see a client like this where you know their site health is so bad but actually they're um, you know this is a different uh, website but we can see that their trust flow and citation flow is really good and there's no problem with link um, power this is the, an absolute gift of an SEO account because you're in complete control you can make changes to the site if it's a link building account then there's a ton of variables where you may or may not get those links. With technical, you just fix what's ever broken on your site and you should start reclaiming traffic. So that's literally how simple this is. Um, we're gonna give away this uh, sheet for you if you go to the Typey Media site uh, and sign up there and we'll send it straight out to you. And literally all you need to do is go, as we said, over to your setup and bang it in there. Now, that's all the SEMrush stuff, but one of the other things I love to do is look at um, site power. So you can see here, this is all the competitors. So what I can actually do here is take the list here and copy it. I've got another add-on. I love an add-on. And I'm going to extract majestic link data. Alrighty, so I'm going to drop that in there show me the key metrics, I'm going to get the data and all that's going to do, give me top line trust flow and citation flow for each of these. There we go. And now what I want to do is I want to insert a bubble chart. The reason why I want to insert a bubble chart is because I want to see the distribution of citation flow versus trust flow so I can work out, do they need just physical power in terms of links? Do they need volume? Or do they need like high trust? So I, do I need to be doing 
high level PR or is it a case of am I just going to do technical links and just build you know reclaimed brand links and broken link building and all that good stuff um, and that gives you a really good idea of what's going on so if I looked at Furniture Village who are absolutely crushing it when it comes to uh, the link stuff but then we actually look at them in here or like mm, 68,255 keywords so they're actually killing oak furniture land in the serps because they've got almost seven times the volume of keywords that they've got so that's almost definitely because they've got more pages and just as this says they've got a considerably higher trust flow and citation flow their link building program is much much better so when i'm putting this in to the deck to show the client I can really quickly start to see where the problem areas are and where we need to focus. For these guys, it's very obvious that tech above else is everything we need to focus on. In terms of content, probably not because they're already ranking for a bunch of good stuff um, and they're doing well for kind of mid-level terms. Link building, yeah, maybe a little bit, but it's very much going to be on the high end, not on the low end. Um, and the reason we know that is because we can actually see where they stack up compared to the rest of the, the their competitors there. So we can say that, okay, client, the most important thing for you is obviously technical health. And if we fix this, we have a feeling that based on the numbers we've got here, if we can achieve an average 3% CTR, these are the types of numbers we're going to be hitting. Now, this is a very quick and dirty way of doing this, so it's by no means super accurate. It, it serves to make it easy to understand and give you a top level view, and also being able to do it in 10 minutes so you can have a real conversation with a client or a prospect without killing yourself doing tons and tons of work. And there you have it, a very simple way to understand the value of SEO inside of your business. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them down in the comments. If you found this helpful and you would like that sheet for yourself, please go over to typeymedia.net and fill out the contact form and say you've come from SEMrush and we will send the sheet straight over to you.